This is a path connecting Fogao Valley to Sumla Valley. It will lead you to the powerhouse, a famous place with a You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me Hi everyone, if you're watching this amazing video on my YouTube channel, I bet you're looking for an adventure to get out of your safe zone. Surely you have heard about the four great passes in Vietnam, right? In the mind of backpackers in Vietnam, there are four passes that have become legendary because of their craziness and enchanting beauty of it. They call the four great peaks because these four particular passes are very challenging for tourists when coming here but also a place with beautiful landscape and all of them are located in the mountainous province of the North Vietnam. They are Ho Quy Ho, Ma Pi Lang, Ho Pa and Pha Dien Pass. For those who love Ha Giang, they only have Ha Giang and Ma Pi Lang Pass in their mind. So before talking about the four great peaks of the north, I would like to invite everyone to visit the great peaks of Vietnam located in the north and to admire the challenges of Ha Giang tour. First, on the way to explore the highlands, you will go through Baksum Pass. Baksum, starting from Binh Tan Commune to Quyet Thien Commune, is considered by many people to be the Fadin Pass of this place. This road takes us to the special land of this place, a rocky area with a colder climate, even though it's only a few kilometers apart. From here, looking down is Minh Tan Valley, standing on the pass, you will sometimes feel the clouds and sometimes the sun right next to you. Most tourists often stop their bike to take a few pictures with the majestic view of it. The higher you go up Baksu, you will come to a resting place and be overwhelmed by the beauty of it. Because the slope is so steep, it will be difficult for those of you who goes two people on one bike because it will weaken the bike and you will experience the feelings of crawling on the pass. Just like that, you have passed the most basic level of Dong Van Rocky Plato and prepare yourself for the next destination. Through Quan Ba, I would like to show you the beautiful and challenging scene of Yen Minh with tight turns on almost every part of the way. Next is Tham Mak Pass, located on Highway 4C, also known as the Happiness Road. Leading from Yen Min Town to Phu Cao, Thammat Pass is considered one of the highest slopes in the entire trip. It is famous for many poetic and majestic landscapes with winding roads creating an enchanting tourist destination. The slope is considered as a test for horses to see the strength. Which one can pass is the strongest one and will be sold in the market at a very high price. This is a place for backpackers to try their best. Going to the top of the pass will be a gift of nature for you and the people here. From this viewpoint, you will see the whole slope like a giant python curling up. In addition to check in with the slope, you can also interact and take lots of photos with Hajang Highland children here. They carry many flowers so you cannot miss them. After Tama Pass, this is the 9 round slope. This is a pass connecting Fogao Valley to Sumla Valley. It will lead you to the powerhouse, a famous place with ancient architecture of Hmong people, and is the film location of Pao feature film revealed in 2006. This was also formerly a large opium field in the Rocky Plateau, a gold mine of the king of Hmong people at that time. 
The 5 km long path had more than 20 sharp turns. Although the road has been improved a lot compared to before, the continuous left and right turns will make a lot of tourists feel excited, especially at the top of the pass when looking down you will see the winding road below. round slope there are many bucket wheat flower planted when you reach to the top remember to stop take some rest take advantage of the wonderful flower field along with the majestic view of the mountains here and it will surely give you a lot of beautiful photos and make sure you will have a lot of emotion when visiting Hajak.